Welcome back. Super brainy scientist Zoe Laughlin is back today. It's all about copper and magic metals. That sounds nice. And we've had to come outside. Because we're doing big stuff. Yeah, just to, on the health and safety front, we'll come outside. Right, so first off, we've got three different metal salts that we've mixed in the solution called methanol. So it's a type of alcohol. Right. But it's not the drinkable alcohol. Right. And this liquid is flammable. So when the, the liquid catches on fire, the flame will burn a particular colour according to the metal that's inside the liquid. Is that like a oh. firework? Exactly. And oh, these are is part it? of the ingredients of fireworks. So the different colours will be how you get different colours in fireworks. Purely depending on the metal that it's made of. Exactly. Well, that I didn't know. I love fireworks. So we'll get the blowtorch on. I've never lit a firework. OK, so we've got a clear blue flame. Yeah. And let's Do start... Do we need to put goggles on or are we all right? We'll be all right. As long as it's, the wind's not blowing, I think we're fine. First up, potassium. Well, it is a little bit. <laughs> potassium. OK. You know, so the amount of hairspray on my head. Oh, I've blown it out. Oh. Potassium will go orange. in a normal orange colour like a flame. Yeah. Beautiful. Strontium. 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 <gasps> wow! Ooh. I like strontium. Firework noise is good. Another one. Red. Oh! <laughs> And now, our friend Copper. Oh, it's a sneak. Oh, oh. Green. Oh, that's like the um, the Wizard of Oz when he comes out. In yeah, Oz. yes. So green, I am red, the... green. Oh, it's gone out. <laughs> hey, maybe you're going too close to I the end. I think I am. I'm blowing it out. Higher. Go higher. Go higher. That's it. Higher. That's it. Do you want to have a go? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, it's beautiful. Bit of green, Ooh. bit of orange. With a red, with a green tinge. Together, together! <laughs> I am Oz. Oh, I was doing my Wizard of Oz in the flame. So now you see why we need to come outside. That's we the most fun I've had in a long time. <laughs> 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 so that's just three simple metals exploded, basically. Very good. Now, we've gone from something quite basic to something incredibly high-tech. Ping-pong yep. balls. Ping-pong balls. Oh. So this is your standard ping-pong ball. Incredibly soft. Yes, In fact, I can see. dent that with my hand. Hollow shell of plastic. Yeah. Rubbish. There we go. Broken. <laughs> well, you're not supposed to do that with ping pong balls. No, are you? but it happens. Even yeah. if you're working ping pong, really hard. Not much else. No. Yeah. Okay. This is now ping pong ball, still hollow, but this has got a nano crystalline nickel iron coating. Of course it so has. It's absolutely straight, you know, top end nano material. Very, very thin coating of metal on the outside. Yeah. And it's incredibly strong. These nano crystalline particles give incredible strength. So, how thick is the coating on the ping pong ball? Thin as a human hair, thinner. Wow. So, you spray it on? Um, the, well, the method of application is part of the secret of the company you make them in. Uh, they won't tell us. Canada, no. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. But will you tell us? I, d I don't know. I think it will be powder and heat fusing. Magic kind of thing. things. But that will take your weight. Does it bounce? It does bounce, but stand on it. Oh, it's cool. Have, it? have, have, have a stamp. So that's just a ping pong ball. Not only that, we <gasps> should be able to have two of us. Really? Oh, if Holly, this you're goes quite the... now, I'm going to be so embarrassed. Well, the men in Canada will be furious. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's crazy. So it's hollow, <laughs> but it's just that super, super thin nano coating. What would you? What would they use that for? So now you can make hollow plastic parts, coat them in this, and they'll have the strength of a metal, the behaviour of a metal, but none of that weight. So super oh, light, like so... Formula One, anything where That's you want incredibly incredible. light, strong Like structures. a bike. Bikes. Yeah, plastic wow. bike coated in that. Brilliant. Indestructible. Indestructible. That's very clever. Very good. So this, do now that? we enter the risky Drop bit. That's down. fine. What we've been doing all morning is Hello. We <laughs> this Hiya. is the team from the Institute making. We've been um, trying to extract copper from the ore. So this is copper ore. This is malachite. This is the stuff you'll dig out of the ground. Yeah. And it's got copper oxide in it. So I copper cool. and oxygen mixed yeah. together. Right. And you heat it up with um, coal. It will rip out the oxygen and leave behind kind of nuggets of copper like this. So we then gathered these nuggets together and other bits of copper, and we've been trying to melt it, but it doesn't know it's on the telly, so it may not be is playing ball. Well, it's up. pretty cold, isn't it? It's pretty cold today. And we're, this was a, an old arrowhead that's been cast. So it's a very primitive technology, a way of getting metal, and really revolutionised our society. Once we could make metal tools and metal objects, Changed you get everything. the Bronze Age, you know? It's yeah. So we're going to try and see what we've got. There you are. Give those to Olivia. There you are. Right. Uh, Olivia. I need to put some equipment on. 
Oh, good gracious. Maybe we should put our goggles on. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think... <laughs> See, we're I the think only we ones should. that haven't. I think we OK. Should. So in here is our crucible. So this was... I can't help thinking about Despicable Me right now. I don't know about <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. So this is 1,000 degrees centigrade. In a jug made of what? That's a ceramic container. Now, it doesn't look oh. like it's melted. It looks solid. Can the camera see down inside there? It looks very glowy. It looks like the pot of gold. It is very glowy. Rainbow. I think... Should we Will have a tip? It? Try it. Have a tip. Just It will just come out as lumps, I think. Will it? Really? But what we can do... Oh, oh, oh yeah, the copper out. pipe is still clever. It's okay. out as piping. Plan B <laughs> is to use the heat from the crucible. Yeah. Is it hot enough to melt? It's melting the plastic. It's melting the plastic. <laughs> Who's got the blowtorch? Quick. So if Quick we get, get the, the Philip, <laughs> <laughs> fill on blowtorch. What do you need? What do you need? Turn the turn the thing and click it. Yes. Turn it more to open up the valve. Turn it towards you. That's the other way. Yep. Yeah. Press it again. <laughs> Keep going. <sighs> turn it down, turn it down a bit, turn it down a bit. Stay with us. <laughs> Stay with us, right, and plus, and... Can I help? I, this feels a bit empty to me. There you, there you go. go. Turn the gas okay. on. OK. I've turned it on. I'll turn it off, do not. I'm going to go up. Yeah. So in this little baby crucible, we've got... What's in pewter. there? Pewter. Pewter. This is a mixture... Which, which melts at a lower temperature. Yeah. This is a tin alloy. It has a very low melting point, and it does still contain a little bit of copper, but this should melt... In how long do you reckon? Because loose women's on in a bit. <laughs> it shouldn't take much longer. Our health and safety people said uh, we were to say, don't try this at home, but obviously, you know, nothing happens <laughs> Here anyway. Here we go. So... Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, let's go in. Oh, it looks like um, what's oh, that look stuff at that. when you mercury? Like, no, when you when you um, soil solder. Oh, yeah. solder, yeah. Solder, yes. So that's another low melt oh, metal. Oh wow! So look. now we've got the liquid metal, and this is a, this is a star for this morning Christmas tree. Ah! You're going to need quite a lot of pewter to fill that up, aren't you? It was. It can be a little one, a little. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. So How long will that star? take to set? Seconds. I should be able to fish that out now. Really? No, you you just be careful, young lady. <laughs> It's the mum in you coming out there. But look, it does... Oh, she's got a bit of water just to help it along. Stand back! Oh, don't be such a scaredy cat. <laughs> and... Dun, da, 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 wow! Da, da, da. Oh, Christmas I star. love it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it! It would have been be... nice if it had been made out of copper, but... Uh, we I, quite, I quite like the silver one. Oh, can I touch yeah, yeah. it? Yeah, got it's it? cold. Yeah. Oh, it's low. Actually, I think that's really rather nice. Well done, you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, guys. Thank you very much. Um, how long? So the reason that didn't melt was purely because of the Just ambient the temperature outside. Just the time and the ambient and temperature outside. made it take us slightly longer than we expected. Yeah. Very good. Right, coming up, will our damsel in distress become a damsel in a dress? We have the results of our takeover, the makeover. And we're behind the scenes of Corrie's wedding of the year. But will Ooh. Tina lure Peter away from Carla? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> we